Egon or Anne Snake come out. Uh, we're going to see some randoms before they get into the real show. Sort of say the pre-show um, before we get into the main show. Uh, a little bit of a... It's what it is, but hey, man, we're going to get it. And of course, it's going to be interesting to see what characters they pull out in random dittos. I don't know you if it's going to be the whole get. set, but I did read them say, no do way. you want to do random dittos for a set? And they both agreed to it. So crazy enough that Alan this actually get snake no there's absolutely no way that alan got snake on a random dude that's ridiculous that is not fair that seems like it's rigged bands and i will not let you convince me otherwise but again <laughs> alan this agreed uh both competitors agreed to this and now it's martha versus snake interesting matchup one with a with a disjoint and another one with an up tilt with the, the donkey kick as we call it here snake being insanely strong and neutral so you want to be careful at all times in these uh, interactions hey man but I, I gotta give it to you know elijah and he's not doing it too bad for a mark never mind i say that and he died to see for <laughs> yeah, it it's fine it's it's regular you expect this from adam this he knows where to place the c4s and he he takes the most advantage of them so it's it's not it's expected yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm just a surprise that, you know, he, like, you got, everybody saw it. He, he literally got <laughs> Snake in the random. And for Elijah Min, man, yeah. I didn't see anything dance, okay? To me, this is rigged. <laughs> if I were, if I were Elijah Min, I would have just told Elijah Min, like, you know what, let's just go mains next one. We don't, we don't want to risk it. <sighs> yeah, definitely. Like, it's fine. Listen, Elijah Min definitely going to try to you i would even in this situation where of course uh, alan this is a clear advantage because he's playing his main even though it's randoms um i would use this information to get as much knowledge as possible and i wouldn't be surprised if elijah Mint is doing exactly that uh we've been seeing him play very carefully and uh, his adaptation is really good so i wouldn't be surprised he's trying to go for the spike trying to finish him but instead gets a spike in return Alan this not wanting to lose that stuff just yet, but Elijah Min had something else to say about the topic. Uh, speak of the topic, yeah. man. <laughs> this little thing. Yeah, not, not much you can do. <laughs> yeah. Well listen, I listen, I don't know if they're gonna go back to randoms. That would be interesting. However, um at this point, I don't I don't think so. I don't think they would. I, don't know I, I, I would hope not. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I would hope not, too. But uh, even if, as long as things are evenly randomized, I would say, because this, let, let's let's admit it, this was super unfortunate for Elijah Min. I, and, and there's nothing you can do about it. I, I hope they switch. But even if they don't, listen, we can all just enjoy this situation. I think Elijah Min is going to change now. But I, I, hope, I hope so. I, I see Elijah Min. I don't know if they're changing character on uh, stages, but like I, I'm, I'm hoping character changes. Um, as they do that, look, if you missed all of tonight's show, I'm telling you guys right now, you guys know where to find it. Check out all the highlights on the MetaView app, the best Smash clips all in one playlist, man. If you missed it, don't worry about it. It's all free on the iOS store. I'm ready for you here, and you can check out the highlights from MSM and several other content creators and other tournaments around the world, man. And many of you makes it easier for you. So do yourself a favor, stop the YouTube clutter and get yourself a great app. You already have an app for driving, an app for food delivery. Why not get yourself an app for some of the best Smash clips? Because if you're like me, you live life on the go and sometimes you just want to watch that clip for something you missed so you can catch up with all of it in one setting, in one moment. So ch definitely check it out. And if you're like my good buddy Cirque here, you know you might have it on the Android don't worry there's gonna be an Android app ready for you just make sure you bookmark that page and you'll be ready for it when it comes out I'm gonna be real with you bands even though I don't have an iPhone the way that you're pitching it to me I feel like buying one and actually being able to download the app MetaViews does sound does sound interesting and it's uh, convenient at most and if you don't or are not capable of downloading it don't forget to at least sub to 2GG gaming on YouTube so you can always check the videos because those get uploaded too on a regular basis basis so even if you didn't get to catch the stream uh, live 
you still get to enjoy our commentary, the insane skills that these competitors bring, all in a weekly basis. So make sure to do that as well. And Benz, apparently we're going into another random. We're going with the game watch in the plant. Okay, I like that. That seems that seems interesting. Seems very very interesting indeed here. Elijah Man and Alan Disc Game and Watch versus Plant. Uh, these are two characters I actually consider anti-meta. They are in the me they are in the meta, so to speak, but they really accelerate at being strong against a lot of stronger characters in the meta. But they do have some clear weaknesses to other characters in the meta game. So that's kind of what makes them, in my opinion, anti-meta. Strong against the meta, but not so much against other characters. Listen, plant gang rise up. I'll, all I care about is that the plant gets represented enough because we don't we don't get a lot of them. And whenever you do see a good piranha plant, they are destructive. You are not, if you're not careful, if you don't respect his options, he's going to demolish you with those chomp chomps and those uh, insane patooies that he can put out in such weird angles. Don't forget that Piranaplan is also very heavy, so he's going to survive quite a lot of hits. Probably not that very into up smash, but definitely <laughs> a force to be reckoned with. Force to be reckoned with indeed here, and Alan Dis is able to get that berry into the smash attack here. Elijah been able to keep things even. Yeah, Plant's one of those characters you kind of want to avoid being above him in general. And funny yeah. enough, it's the same thing for Game & Watch. You kind of oh, yeah. want to avoid being above him. So when both characters kind of like happen to catch each other in the air, it's whoever's on the ground that was the one that's truly winning. Yeah, great tech there from Elijah Min, recognizing that he was going to get a beat. Very smart and very uh, great reaction times from him. He wants to keep the aggression at all times, something that a Piranha Plant does benefit a lot from. Uh, even if he's at a disadvantage state, he can always set a Patui out to lure you in, lure you out. It's just a very good option that Piranha Plant has. And as you mentioned, try to avoid being on top of him because he is going to chomp into destruction if you are not careful or if you don't respect his options just as much as you should. Yeah. Alan does a little bit of stage control. Good for the up smash because the plan, like I said, happens to be above it's, you. It's, it's happening. Yeah, and that up smash is so good. And that forward smash from plan is also ridiculous in terms of knockback. That back air also ridiculous in terms of knockback. He literally caught Alan just slipping after that forward air. Actually, I need to tell you, when Piranha Plant came out, I was very, uh, I was a very uh, strong advocate of it. I actually tried to main it, at least to some degree, or learn it. And let me tell you, those backers are hard to hit because it's a very deceptive hitbox. And in, in, in its duration, it's also very weird. So the sweet spot is hard to hit. So the fact that Elijah Man got it, it, it either tells how good of a competitor he is, or maybe he knows a bit of a plant. Maybe he's a plant gang too. Yeah, Plant was one of the characters that I remember I was like, man, I guess Nintendo's going to put more Mario characters and, you know, as DLC and not crossover characters like four. And I was like, oh, and then I saw Joker and I was like, all right, never mind. I guess we are going to have more crossover characters. Yeah, yeah, that would be cool, though. Imagine having, oh, no, Elijah Min screwing up a little bit of the angle and that recovery. And he is one game away from uh, losing this MSM. It's very unfortunate. But listen, if the competitors want to go random, listen, there's nothing we can do about it other than enjoy and try to get the most out of these matchups. Because, yeah, they're not probably very meta, but at least you get to learn one of these obscure characters that not a lot of people use. Yeah, and all, obscurity indeed is one of those things you do see within these two characters. Uh, honestly, we've had a pretty strong, awesome night. A lot of great best of fives all together and strong sets. Yeah. Even if it's something like this, you know what? I can't, yeah, I want to see a, another banger from both of these players but you know i'm comfortable with them having fun you know what sometimes at the end of the day you gotta have some good fun in order to make sure you are doing good and sometimes you know whatever happens happens but it is going to be elijah min on the lucas and alan this on the simon of all characters okay interesting 
to see. I wouldn't be I wouldn't be surprised if Alan actually is good at, at, at the Belmonts because he it kind of reminds me of Snake in some way. He's very projectile yeah. based, and his uh, melee attacks, his close quarter combat, is actually pretty strong too. So it wouldn't surprise me that Alan is actually really really good with his Simon here. Ah, whereas Lucas can be a bit of a trade off. You never know exactly what he's gonna do or how he's gonna react. You can expect a lot of PK fires, maybe a lot of PSI magnet uh, mobility, but it all boils down to neutral, especially with Lucas and the edge guarding too. So it's gonna be interesting to see how these two uh, in this matchup specifically are going to fare off. Yeah, and for how the, I mean, it's kind of funny that you said that too, because also like the Belmonts are also Konami characters as much as Snake yeah. is. Because wow, this yeah. man is just going for cross with absolutely no respect of how close it is. Oh, he really doesn't need to take care. Uh, he doesn't need to mind the distance. As long as the hitbox is out there, I know he can make the most out of it at any given circumstance and a given point. And he's doing pretty well overall. The percentage is very even on both sides, but the placement and the, u the use of his projectiles definitely shows that Alan is actually his snake main. Yeah, oh no, and Elijah been missing that recovery. It's really, really rough for him. This gives Alan this that a little bit of percent, but unfortunately for Belmont, they have that really poor recovery choices here. He's able to use that early up and still come back, but he's too close to the ledge to actually snap on that tether. Yeah, it's 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 back to back basically. Both of them are doing a really good job with these characters. I don't know if they're used to using them or or if they have previous knowledge on how to perform with them, but it's definitely showing how equally balanced they are, equally skilled both competitors are in their respective neutral and maybe the projectile game. So it's interesting to see how these competitors get to perform out of their comfort zone, which would be their mains actually. This is a Something that not a lot of people appreciate, oh. but this is something that I'm trying to bring bring to light. So you guys, not only because it's they're not playing their best character, doesn't mean that they're not giving their best out there in this these kinds of stake uh, high stake tournaments. On them, and yeah, and you're right. And I'm trying to think of like what is something Elijah Min is thinking about in this matchup in particular. And I'm just wondering, is it because you know he had a hard time with Alan Dis already as Shulk, but also as Gunner? So I'm wondering if I'm like, hey, let me get randoms and. Maybe I can pull something closer. Maybe that might be the thought process. You know, these two players are in grands and I'm not. So only they know what they're really thinking. But like you said, man, Alan Dis just showing some knowledge. Like, all right, cool. I do kind of understand how Belmonts work. Yeah, you gotta remember this is the grand finals of MSM 57. Elijah Min is one stock away from losing this tournament. Remember, he is in the loser side. He needs to reset. However, Alan this still has something to say against that. So he's one stock away. This is the last opportunity that Elijah Min has in order to bring it back. If he gets a reset, which seems a little uh, complicated to do, that would mean that we get more matches. But if Alan this gets to concrete the kill here, that will be it for the rest of the tournament. Oh, you try to go for a ledge jump. And I like that play from Alan. This just yeah. immediately sensing yeah. like, all right, this is how Lucas is going to land. Let's try to get this ledge jump. That's going to be a back throw for stage machine. Never mind, forward throw. Okay. Change up the DI while, while you're at it. Oh, that's like yeah, not going to pull through. <laughs> yeah, he wants to keep the projectiles on at all times. And it's important that he does so because it allows him to either condition, try to go for that up B, either condition or wait, is he going to get the stock? He might be able to go for the spike. Oh my God! Gets, gets the stage spike. Very unfortunate from Elijah Min doing everything perfect from the edge guard, from the stage spike, but instead gets got punished in return from uh, Alan. This beautifully done. And he is now the winner the champion for msm 57 bands beautiful matches so far i can't believe what i just saw Wait, what i just i just i just can't believe what i saw i i it's just ridiculous yeah I'm, I'm just not lost for words it's the beauty I, of it yeah i'm just not lost for words he, uh, Elijah Min had a glimpse, a glimmer of hope in that uh, edge guard, but hey, Alan this definitely wanted to take the win, and he does. He gets the dub. I think it's well deserved. Even if they went randoms, even if they were, well, I don't want to say fooling around because as I said, as I said earlier, they were giving their all still, even if it wasn't their main. But uh, definitely taking a little, a little on the lighter side 
of the competition and we always enjoyed to see that too yeah we enjoyed to see that too all the way through and man shout outs to both players man it was it was incredible but also shout outs to my co-caster here Cirque, joining us for the first time man it is great to have you you've been previously seen on the smash world tour so i'm glad to have you join here on msm online and hopefully soon fingers crossed man we'll have you join up for msm offline and hey maybe even some awesome sagas as well as they come Listen, that would be perfect. That would be something that I'm looking forward to. And yes, I hope you enjoyed our commentary. It was a pleasure being uh, my first time here to having such a great and uh, a relaxing, someone that gives comfort and supports back-to-back -back bands. You, you've you been a phenomenal first-time co-caster in this uh, enterprise and this and uh, basically adventure that I'm taking over in this new event so thank you thank you very much hope you guys appreciate it Vance is this it for the stream is this it for the commentary you know better than me so please let me know <laughs> yeah this will definitely be it for us tonight guys remember to check us out on MetaView it is a free app so download it man it's on the iOS store I've basically repeated it so many times so stop stop listening to me just get it done man it's pretty easy it's free it takes no time to download from the iOS store uh, especially for those of you guys out there interested in some awesome smash clips um Cirque, today is your first time being on here and i know you might be new to it but i'll take care of it from here guys guys thank you so much for ha for coming here maybe next time next time Cirque will definitely say this for you guys but for now Cirque, thank you for joining us shout outs to latin america for showing up in such a strong such a, such a strong country all together and countries in general for showing up here and uh guys thank you so much we'll see you guys next week with msm number 58 but for now it's time to go to one place that we all like to go ladies and gentlemen you guys have a great night we'll see you next week as we take it to the skies <laughs>